Okay, hello everyone. Um, sorry I'm late. There was a bit of a problem with uh, <coughs> Streamlabs basically had to update and then it did that really annoying thing where sometimes after it updates it reverts all my settings to a previous iteration. And that was especially bad because it changed the streaming server and I was at least prepared enough to check that. It didn't mean I was prepared enough to fix it immediately, but I checked it and avoided more technical issues. Anyway, we're back. Yesterday we started playing Disco Elysium. Today we're actually going to be continuing playing it. Um, I know it may seem to some like we didn't really play much yesterday, but uh, I'll show you that we did in fact. This isn't boding well. It's just it's it's just a little bit scared to uh, to perform well on stream, I guess. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's uh, load this save up. The map tab in your journal lists all the white checks you can reattempt. Okay. I don't believe the game is running that poorly. From excuse me what we've done um i think this might just be stuttering because it uh, i just had to reboot and everything but yeah just checking the audio level sorry that's quite loud that is in fact quite loud let's see um Oh, yes, I remember this. Logic was our signature. Uh, what did we level up a little bit? We got some leveling in Encyclopedia, I believe. Yeah, see, look, skill points. Okay. Um, and then if we go into inventory, you can see this Disco Ass Blazer. Um, we've got our green snakeskin shoes. Which we have now, and I think if we check our journal, it'll say that we haven't got them yet, and that's kind of weird. We have one out of two health, which is uh, not great, is it? Bonuses from items. Conceptualization is up. Our white satin shirt. Our suggestion is down because of uh, the white satin shirt. Our esprit de corps is up because of the blazer. Our electrochemistry is up because of our trousers. And our savoir faire is down because of our trousers and our shoes. And our composure is up because of our shoes. Interesting. So this really does play like um, a typical RPG. What's up, Vice Chess? Sorry I'm late. It was just a little technical hiccup Oops. uh so then we go into journal i believe find your other shoe so task and we we've done that though i don't know if we'll actually mark it as done which is uh strange and here's our thought cabinet, though. I don't think we've done anything that would... Oh, wait. There's this Guillaume Le Million. We can't click any more of these. Okay, I guess these are all things for us to discover. How's it going, by the way? Uh, that's... That's... That's quite a cool sound. Let me turn that down a little bit on the stream. It's fine for me, but it seems quite loud for you guys. Uh, what's this? How's your day been? Not too bad, not too bad. Complain, Josh, rate my Pokemon Black team. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. We actually completed the task. Gain 10 experience, composure. There they both are. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin reunited on your feet. Um, like two baby crocodiles. How do they fit? Oh, so this gave us extra... Commentary, I suppose. So where it says, um, succeeded, 
So if you okay, Snivy, that's a pretty good start, I guess. I mean, none of the Gen Five stars are particularly good. Uh, so if you haven't played a tabletop RPG before, basically, this game does it a little bit differently. It simplifies it because, excuse me, Piplup, Ralts, Growlith, and Riolu. It's pretty good coverage, but it's a weird hacked team. Uh, usually you'll roll dice, um, and depending on the situation you'll roll a specific type of dice, like um, a 6-sided or a 20-sided, 20 20-sided 20 being the most common in tabletop RPGs. This game seems to just do it with two d6s, which is two 6-sided dice, and then adds your base stats onto that, I think. Do you like? Of course you do. <laughs> it's not a bad team, I'm not... I wouldn't say that, but it's clearly not legitimate. Um, how do they fit? Uh, healed our morale. Our morale has a stat as well as our HP. Good, they're balanced, comfy. Comfy, it feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. That's a bit mean. Oh yes, it might be a ROM hack. Yeah, I, c I could tell. Don't worry. Uh, there's another thought. Seems the smell of the sea makes you dizzy. Okay. Whirling. I didn't get to read that whole thing. Red checks can be tried only once. Failed white checks can be retried, increasing the relevant skill. By re by increasing the relevant skill. Um, this is a very beautiful art style. Cool, like a watercolor looking and it's hand painted. It's actually, it actually looks more like... Uh, oil than watercolor. I take that back. It looks kind of like wash. Um, who are you? Hello, what officer. is this? What is that? Um, Glacia, Miss Aranya Disco Dancer. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Officer, my military personnel, turn your bloated face uh, away from her beauty and just keep on walking. Seems a little bit uh, worrying. How much we've forgotten, sure. Uh, no. Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. Authority, there's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. <laughs> Wait, I know, I'm a businessman. Chief executive officer, right? Then why did you call me an officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. <laughs> I like how <laughs> I like how just deadpan she's like cause you're a police officer sir it's just like uh, I can't believe this policeman's just trying to get some laughs out of me by you know you know the drill how they'll just mess around anyway we've had some really bad police news recently in South Africa so maybe I should stay away from that particular topic he said playing as a cop are you sure <laughs> And don't you forget it. Are you sure? I am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well-rehearsed lies all this time. Oh, she's smiling a little bit. Takes another drag all this time. You've been here for three days on official police business, no less. Wow, and what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Oof. Our logic has come in. Yep. You have no doubt about the drinking, but do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? You must have heard something. Ooh, that's good. Suggestion challenging 12. Try the expression on her. Uh, try the expression on her. <laughs> Let her know you want her physically. Oh no, I am not doing that one. Uh, I might not know where I am or who I am or what a Kupri... Um, Capri Kinema is how I know what one sounds like. Uh, why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Hmm. Let's go with this one. Are you not going to speak? Okay, don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. 
A glib remark. Don't let us stand. Assert yourself. <laughs> Actually, I can see why they would entrust me with the law. I have the right character. I let it go. Say nothing. Retreat is not a winning tactic. <laughs> Our authority is going down. I am not going to do it. I No, I really... No. Do you see how low that is? That could be really bad. When you're playing tabletop RPGs and you roll what it says there is always loses with uh, the two ones, usually something really bad will happen. Like, you'll actually just hurt yourself trying to do an innocent action. It can be very bad. So, it's not an optimal strat. Okay, let's go with this one. She nods. But I do know when someone's not telling me the whole story. What am I doing here? What's my case? That's it. <laughs> I could have just said, I don't know who I am or where I am or what I'm doing here. That's it. Um, she takes a long drag before speaking. There's a mercenary out back. He's been hanged. The body has been there for a week now. The locals probably got tired of it and called the cops. Uh, let me turn my audio down. I don't know. It's very weird because I to re um, readjust everything uh, when Streamlabs updated. So yeah, she takes a long drag before speaking. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Probably got tired. And why didn't you just tell me that? I didn't mean to overwhelm you with information. You seem a bit lost, officer. The time's ticking. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Probably worth it. Could it be because of the drinking? She raises an eyebrow. The cigarette sizzles. Should I go for it? <laughs> Should I go for it? I should get going now. Leave. It's really low. I could try it. Should I? Well, I mean, chat said yes. Um, I wouldn't really do this, but let's go for it. <gasps> try this expression. <laughs> try the expression. Come on. Why are you still doing this? I'm at death's door, bloated, a goner, and still. Does the longing ever stop? Alcohol raises testosterone levels, especially in men, she says matter-of-factly. The levels remain elevated after inebriation ends and the pain begins. You see comfort. It's only natural. Puts out her cigarette. Looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. And no, it never stops. Goodbye. There you go. End. What have we got here? And why is there no music? It looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Calendar says it's March. The year is 51. What's this? What's this? There's something in the air. This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trompe le Monde. What's this? Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. They said there was a mercenary out back. I could probably go back in there, but I really won't. Oh, we can run. Double click. Aren't you supposed to follow? It's not that kind of stream. And sleep after nine sleeping heals all your health and morale. Now we're the cool detective who just keeps her inside. <laughs> the cool detective. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is uh, for a s uh, musician. This is where the lyrics would be for a singer. A big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing into it. And this? The speaker's connected to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. Uh, you should totally sing karaoke here. The first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know of your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal sized. My soul is puny. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. <laughs> like this one. <laughs> Of course, at this point, precise measurement of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard. Through a PA system. <laughs> By other people. 
This goes well with a theory I'm developing, that I'm a down-on-my-luck superstar person. What should I sing when it comes to it? Um... What should I sing when the time comes to it? You have not yet stumbled on the right lamenta lamentation, but it's out there. It'll come to you. You'll wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. Lamentation sounds good. They'll really get a gauge on my soul with that. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy, get the people going. Hmm. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic song. Who's laughing now? No one. New task. Sing karaoke. You have to find something tragic to sing first, though. Finish thought. Interesting. This is a lot of fun. It's really open-ended. And I kind of kind of understand why it would be such a large file size if it has so much open-endedness. You know, they have to account for all of that. Gart. The cafeteria manager. Man in his late 20s stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Empathy. That's an interesting picture for empathy. That was disdain in his eyes, even now he's purposefully ignoring you. Something tells me you don't like me. Look at that stuffed bird. Are you the bartender? Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender, I'm the cafeteria manager. Understood. Mm-hmm. Something tells me you don't like me. No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Okay, cool. That's where that line came. came in. You're a hero. A real hero cop. Could be the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with it? <laughs> Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? So not only am I a cop, but I'm also a hero. You're being sarcastic. Ha! I've outwitted you. Am I? Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room? Uh... Oh my god, I did all those things. I'm guessing I didn't do any of those things. I do not appreciate your tone. This is no way to talk to an officer. I'm guessing I didn't do any of those things. You're right. You didn't, and it's only taken us three days not to. <laughs> we sound fantastic at our job. Have you seen me around? No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. He keeps plucking at the bird. Look at the stuffed bird. Competent work of a taxidermy. Yeah, it's taxidermy. And the white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. It's like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. This is a great skewer. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the insin Insulindian Isola, the part of the world you are in right now. Something about it makes you feel bitter. That's the great skewer, right? Can I help you with that? Look. Your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors, where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean by my buddy? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird and said, Okay. What's this? I'm going to look at a lot of things. There's a water cooler. A larger bubble is rising to the surface. This. Is it pet? No, oh, that is. The menu has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. A woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today's starts in a man's handwriting. Ooh, good deduction. The soft pro of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. Okay. Look here. Sign reads, mess hall reserved for union members. Doors open from four. Yeah, wait, is this a pinball machine? The royal pinball machine is unplugged. Hello there. Ina, the cryptozoologist's wife. Hello, sweetie. Just you in time. keep your colleague waiting. Okay. 
nods towards this man here. And I believe this is going to be our best friend. This is a blind playthrough, but I believe this is a good friend of ours. Kim Kitsuragi. The speckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As he as you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. I don't know what that would be. Esprit de corps. An assault were launched on this building right now. If the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are sure of this, but why? Hold on, who is he to me? He is your half-brother. Shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi. His group Hello. Is from oh, there I'm you go. Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he is waiting for your name. This is your chance to come up with a really cool, a really good name for yourself. Get creative, conceptualize. I don't really know my name. Invent a name for yourself. We could tell the truth. Or we could not. Huh. Yeah, let's go for it. Why not? Have fun. Ooh. Raphael Ambrosius Costo. So cool. It's very cool, but I... Once I come off like a douche if I call myself that, it's very, very cool, but maybe just a bit too ostentatious. My name is Raphael Ambrosius Costo. <laughs> it's so cool. It's very, very cool, but this maybe It is a cool name, but uh, I think a bit too ostentatious. No, it's not. Raphael Ambrosius Costa is one classy name for one classy cop. Say it. I don't have any choice. Yes. Well. He doesn't even say what you just said. Just moves on. Doesn't even process what you just said, rather. Not for a moment does he believe that's your real name. He casts it aside as an interdepartmental joke or a peculiar... Or a peculiarity. He doesn't understand. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? What he means is he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. You mean him nod toward the cafeteria manager? <laughs> manager? Yeah, I just talked to him. Must be some kind of misunderstanding. You're taking me for someone else. I suppose no, I haven't. If you okay. don't mind, we Let's should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Mm. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? Continue, yes. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course, in full force. Uh, not, uh, not just in any force at all. Uh, yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. <laughs> That's one way to put it. What interviews? I have, yes. I haven't. Yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. I don't want to rub this guy the wrong way. I'm just going to say I haven't. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Yes. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Look, man, you know, yeah, no, completely, no. So the body is still in the tree. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Great the empathy. Have been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. He sounds like he has um, a sort of Japanese French accent. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? How can you be so sure I'm from the police? I can't remember anything. What were you supposed to do again? What were we supposed to do again? Let's get going then. Um, I can't remember anything. He looks at you for a moment in silence. I can see you drank last night and the night before and that you are still drunk now. I've seen officers go through much worse. Much worse. You need something for your headache. There is a general store nearby, but as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Okay, let's get going then. Yay! Kim joined. New task, interview cafeteria manager, inspect 
uh, the body. After you, officer. Logic. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Wait, shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? It wasn't on me when I woke up. Pretend you found it. I ah, I have my badge. I'm a policeman. And I have my badge. I don't want to... I don't want to pull this guy along so much. I don't want to pull his leg so much. It wasn't on me when I woke up. Report your mis badge missing. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a short wave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible, but getting the body down should still take precedence. I'm trying to kind of imitate what his voice sounded like to me. Lieutenant Kim Kutsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by clicking on him. Yay, I can click on people. Um, okay, so let's... Go to the body. And he's following us, that's cool. Um, do we go... This is the... It's just the kitchen. Kim, you're, you're a little bit in my way. The door is bolted. The sign reads, kitchen reserved for personnel until... One. Okay. Hmm. Could you, could you perhaps point me in the right direction, Kim? I'd much appreciate. Summer door closed for the winter. Uh, where is this body? Maybe, maybe you can tell me. Tell me about the case. I think you should know that I can't remember anything. Um, I wanted to talk about you. You seem to be following me. <laughs> you seem to be following me. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing, just an observation. You have a... He's looking for the right words. A distinctive way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, we would surely collide. What do you mean by distinctive? I hope you don't take this the wrong way. Just a collegial observation. What's that? Collegial. Actually sure, I don't know that word. In the 57th, we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 41st Precinct tend to move a bit erratically. How's that? They say it's a scene-clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic, yet thorough. Priorities containers. Prioritizes containers. Both characters move together. Yep. Why containers? That's racist. I don't prioritize containers. What are containers? Why containers? I don't know. Containers contain... Yes, I'm making assumptions. We should move on. Esprit de corps. Passing along frivolous interdepartmental stereotypes is not usually his oeuvre. He regrets bringing it up. Um... I think you should know that I can't remember anything. In response, he just arches his brow having trouble processing it, believing it even. I really don't remember anything. There was drinking involved. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? There is a sudden harsh edge to his voice, like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. What's wrong with personal affairs? So what should I concentrate on? I'm basically lacking in basic information about even this organization we're in. Can you help me? I'm afraid this is a medical situation. Move on. Um... Can you help me? Yes. End of day. Debrief with K end of day debrief with Kim. Fine, we should get through this day first. Four hours begin at nine. If you're still having trouble then I can give you an orientation. Okay, fine. Um Focus on other people's troubles, not your own. That is the relief. Okay, forget it. Moment passes. The lieutenant glances at the sports watch on his wrist. Nothing. Let's let's try to find our way through here, I guess. That that that's that um option we had of going through the, the door earlier, following her. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, it's not gonna be on stream, that's gonna be my own playthrough. Thank you very much. <laughs> I wonder what this means. Oh, there we go, it's fine. This is the first game that my computer is really getting annoyed at. <laughs> it is one of the most modern ones I've played, in all fairness. 
But yeah, I think I can kind of understand why that's happening. It's not... You don't really see it, I don't think, coming up on stream that it uh, is performing a little suboptimally. But, um... Just little things. Don't worry about it. The street sign reads, F the police coming straight from the underground. I'm not going to sing the rest of that song. F the police coming straight from the underground. Those are the lyrics. Rue de Saint Zilain. 8B. Let's check out back. Oh, Kim runs. We can now answer the question of does he run? Uh, hey kid. Um, there's a dead body there. Could you stop throwing stones at it? Kuno. Kuno's got this. The boy throwing the rocks at Kuno's got this! Oh, never mind. He yelled it for me. The boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than 12. There was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. This is the part of our brain that appreciates art. Oh yeah, never could be, Kuno. What? <laughs> hey kid, a word, police business. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. Wow. The children ignore you. Slobbing in the dick! Wow. Perception. Sight. Easy. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaws twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Hold on, what does that mean? Stop throwing rocks at my crime scene. Stop using slurs at my crime scene. That's not how we do it. Stop throwing rocks at my crime scene. Not appreciating those. They pay you no heed or pretend not to notice you. The shit himself. The rake, Kuno. You should throw the rake at him, Kuno. Wow. The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. Language warning, by the way. Kim, what should we do? Are you kids siblings? Look, I have questions for you. I don't have time for this. Kim, what should we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. Ah, I see. I see what you mean, but we've got a little choice here. Just take it easy. He says with what seems like excessive caution. The language these kids are using, pure, unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. Rhetoric. Um... Mm. Look, I have questions for you. All right, entertain the cool no. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got there? Show me what you got. Wow, this kid's excessive. Irregular speech patterns, overconfidence. Could this be? Could this kid be on drugs? This warrants further investigation into this Kuno. Gotta ask, who's Kuno? Kuno's Kuno, pig. The boy points to his chest with both thumbs. It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly the kid's using the third person perspective as a shield. So you refer to yourself in the third person. Got it, I had another question. Um, yeah, got it, I had another question. <laughs> pig or not. The body, what do you know about it? <laughs> no, it's fine. He's totally choking! I don't have questions. <laughs> right, pig, this is where Kuna plays with his little wooden f Jeez. Yeah, whatever. Okay, jeez. This, this kid is crass. 
Hmm. Let's just save. Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human being decomposes. The Hanged Man. That's a tarot card. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. The lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. That's very <coughs> clear imagery. Welcome to Spooktober. You seem to be holding your breath. Uh, Look down. Cargo Bell twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. God, what is that? Why is it so bad? Injured legendary. Let go of your nose without throwing up. No. Why is it so bad? Active decay. The lieutenant raises a white piece of linen to his nose. It's okay to throw up while no one is judging. He's about to blow. The cop's gonna blow. Who know? Yeah, I'm not going to... Even try. Legendary. This kid's ladder is rickety but still climbable. The ladder is for kids, it won't hold the weight of a grown man. Someone is trying to grow herbs in this greenhouse. Uh, should I just try it? I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. I don't want to entertain these kids any further. Turn away. Uh, okay, how are we going to get the man down? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, what's here? The letter R wears a crown on the room below, a light above, uh, descending. This is the logo of the municipality of Revacol. Municipality of Revacol. Oh yeah, it's kind of half French, so I don't know if it's Revachol, Revachol, Revacol. Um, yes, yeah, it's just hard to say. No, it's only over. This winch mechanism has been oxidizing for years. What's this? Oh, what's that? Pile of Eternite, an inconspicuous pile of roofing material. Eternite, what is this? Perception sight medium. Why am I looking at this pile of roofing material? Let's try it. Because it's nice and orderly, well laid palette, easy on the eyes. Uh, rhythmic pattern calms your mind, mammals like this. No, there's more to this, you get this strange feeling, what feeling? Hard to say, it's gone now, feelings pass to see, especially the small ones. What is this? It's nothing, someone just left some roofing material slanted against the old shack. Put skills into perspective, or perception rather. And I moved here, here. Okay, we need to get the body down. Doesn't seem like there's anything nearby. I could do that. Um. Maybe can I put points into perception? How do I do that? Here, perception. Hmm, I don't have enough skill points to do that. Okay. Maybe there'll be something nearby that will help. There are bottles inside, you could pick them up if you had a bag. Wow, this is a big place to explore. Hmm. Yeah, what's in this thing? A heap of snow melts in this wheelbarrow. 
BRCM and Matinee? Hmm. What can I help you with? Um, sounds surprised. We don't see a lot of police around here. That's all. I have some questions for you. Of course. What can I help you with? <laughs> what is this F the police business? Who are you exactly? Me, yeah, I'm just a gardener. Cool. And what are you doing here? Good to meet you, just a gardener. Another question then. <laughs> I'm pleased to meet you too, officer. Um. Sure. Excuse me, she doesn't understand. She's uncomfortable, maybe you should drop the sign of questioning. Yeah, never mind. Uh, we need direction. Of course, where to? What is up north? There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements, not a lot really. What is in the east? The harbour gate, some kind of commotion I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store too. Okay. South. Some shops and a bridge, the canal bridge leads to the coast but it's broken. I think, some kind of accident probably, it was on the other side of the canal. Just coast, there's a little fishing village there, and a fish market, but that got closed down ages ago. What's in the west? He looks at the water, squinting. It's just water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. Thanks, that's all for now. No problem, she nods, brushing off. Well, for cheek, after run. Of course, I won't hold you back. She wipes her brow with the canary yellow glove. <laughs> Your gloves, you get the feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with after all. One more thing, can I borrow your gloves? Sure, keep them. I have no I have another pair. Another pair. She hands you the rubber gloves with no visible annoyance. Thank you. Oh. We'll put these on. Uh and I'll raise our interfacing. Can I put these on? Just like right now. I could. Kind of weird to do it. I don't really need to do it yet. But I could do it. Very open ended game. Seems like I can uh whirling in rags. That's the that's the thing. There's a bunch of stuff here. A glossy magazine, most able bodied men. She hosts a ten a top ten list. Jump Jams, a popular music mag. Uh, freaked. I'm in debt. Three T's, how idiomatic. That looks like some change on the wall there. What's in here? Maybe there's something that we can use to help get the body down. <laughs> Melancholy pop song plays on the radio. Yellow roses, dozens of them, tulips too. Welcome to Frit. Feel free Frit. to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's that magazine she's reading? Before we go, what is this Frit? I don't know. Frit. Okay. I think they think that the extra team makes it funkier. Mm. It doesn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she chews on a gum in disgust. Story goes that normal Frit with two T's amends a workwear shop in... A Fort was already taken, so when Frit Retail Inc. grew into a multinational corporation, they had to add an extra letter to avoid trademark infringement. Good. What magazine are you reading? Yeah. Um. Is there anything here? Knickknack stand. Do you see several? Excuse me, packages. 
Packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and or croissant and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent except for the big Fritz slogan on the back. What's that? I want to buy a raincoat. I need endurance up for that apparently. No, no, no. That's what it will give me. I don't know why it's locked. Oh, I need money. That's obviously it. I don't have any money. I think that's the indicator for that. I'll probably uh, get going because um, there's still that dead body to get down. It doesn't seem like anything here is going to be useful. Solving that problem. This is a very interesting blend of cultures. It seems like we're kind of coming from everywhere. Rita Ford sounded more German or Dutch. Some people have a very strong French accent. Some people have a very strong um, Northern or Cockney accent. Uh, other people have other things from around England and Britain. It's quite interesting. Closed for winter. Please use main entrance. Goods from the lorry haphazardly litter the surroundings. They use the word lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. It's hard to do that. What's this? Some great tectonic force has cracked the pavement like an eggshell. Damage looks like it could have been caused by an earthquake. This book has a rose, a pistol, and a half-naked dame on its cover. Is it uh, a 007? On the cover stands a very muscular man surrounded by flames. The book is titled Man from Heimdall and the Wildfire. I believe that's uh, Nordic mythology. I don't know, I might be completely wrong on that. I did play Whispers of Machine and that was uh, more reliant on Nordic mythology than anything else. Um, as in, it was relying on that more than it was relying on it. So, uh, yeah. The coin-operated viewer has been banged up inoperable. As a child. I think we really need to focus on uh, how we're gonna get this body down. And that's, uh, that's a bit of a problem at the moment. Is there anything I can use here? Maybe this child will help. I have more questions about... No, wait. Um... Fuck, oh, this cold okay! Okay, I have more questions about the crime scene. The Kingdom of Kuno. The ladder ever climb it? What's in the greenhouse? Look at that. He screeches, you're trying to get me killed. Oh, Kuno killed. Unclimbable. You're an acrobat. The lieutenant takes a quick note in his notebook. It's a trap, Kuno. Don't climb it, Kuno. What's in the greenhouse over there? Yeah. Don't know. Crypto has gone, no used to work here. Uh pejorative term used to describe people of South Seminese or Areopagite descent. Used to be a common first name among the Areopagites of Ilmara. Not so much anymore. Hold on, the gardener used to work there. You mean the young woman by the whirling in rags, that gardener. Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off Kuno and take it. He fills his lungs with the rancid air. The eyes get a little watery. It's nothing to me. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Where did that... Oh, there's where the quote ended. Hmm. Okay. Well, Kuno doesn't explain anything. Kuno just says it. Yeah, her. <laughs> What was she doing in the greenhouse in March anyway? What kind of gardening is done in March? Ask her about that. Accept the task. Ask the gardener about gardening in March. Uh, there's a stack of Eternite back there. 
That's just some roofing uh, gimps that I found. That strange feeling again, as if there was more than meets the eye about that pile of roofing material. Can't hide it, I see without vision, with my inner eye. So you say, but I saw past the veil. Yes, yes. Were they left handed? Don't I have a single normal thing to say? <laughs> We are way beyond normal already. We are in the star chamber. I think I'm already in the star chamber. I don't bother the lieutenant with the star chamber. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> huh. There's no in his notebook. I have no idea what you just said. Are you having a seizure in Skuno's yard now? Um. Past the veil. Sure. <laughs> Ask me a normal question. The effing well? I don't know. They're trying to make you feel stupid, Kuno. You glance back at the roofing material in front of the shack. Yes, you should go back there. Yeah. Okay, I'm off. Suddenly, it started snowing. I think we need to look at this again. Something's telling me that we ought to look at it again. The rain or snow? I'm pretty sure that's snow. It is winter. Still can't, hey? No, I, I mean, I can try again. Bad luck. Because it's nice and orderly. Well, okay. There feels no secrets at this time. My perception is terrible. This is what playing actual RPGs are like, except usually the DM would come up with an excuse for uh, you or someone to help you. Like you have to pay someone to look into this. More questions about the crime scene. Fuck oh, this cone, okay? <laughs> Left-handed? What hand did they work? Hulk. Can't hide it, I see without vision with my inner eye. Inner eye? What are you talking about? He loses cool from his ceiling. Ask me a normal question. Yes, you should go back there. Okay, maybe it's, maybe we fix it now. Maybe now we can? Maybe? Otherwise, I don't know. Now let's talk to this sort of stuff. No, I can't. Plus two, Inland Empire said, come back. And we have a lot of little tasks to do, don't we? Uh, maybe we should ask. No, I still can't. We'll need a lot more points than that one. Okay, let's just uh, ask the gardener about it. That seems like an idea. snowing again watch is the snow it felt inside. like springtime just a few days ago hmm what exactly have you been doing in the greenhouse in March well uh, she points to a wheelbarrow surprised at the question it might be the last snow we get at least I hope so no as nutrients in it helps everything green up in the spring at least that's what my grandma always told me yes think about the cute grandma not the weird snow <laughs> grandma is a bit too much? What nutrients? Visual calculus. Let's do it. High chance. Damn. <laughs> all you can see is the fact that our skin is a different color from yours. That's literally all you're gonna have to run with that. Oh no. 
I, I don't have any other options. What does that mean? She doesn't flinch. What kind of music do you listen to? What season are we on? I believe when... Um, do you mean here? Or in-game? Because we're, we're in spring. The game's in uh, winter. Because I believe it's March. What kind of music do you listen to nowadays? Nothing. Nothing. The lieutenant turns to you. We should proceed with business in Martina. I can't believe I tried that. Huge accident, might I add. Okay, I guess talk to this guy. Racist lorry driver. Uh, welcome to Revachol. It is Revachol. Announces the rotund, rotund man. The remark isn't addressed to you, it's addressed to the lieutenant. When will spring end and what is after? Uh, spring will end uh, by the end of November and then it'll be summer. Why are you addressing my partner like that? What's a revishol? Why are you addressing my partner like that? Don't you welcome to revishol me? My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in this city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs oh, to Oh, so you. we're in Revachol. You tell him. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. What he means is fixation on the Revacholian nation makes it harder for Revachol to Revachol to actually attain self-determination. He's right, you're undermining our best shot at real self-determination. Stop ripping into this guy, he's just really part of being Revacholian. Limbo, what's going on here? Oh come on man, I just said welcome to Revachol. It's a lorry driver thing. Mm, but your name is literally racist lorry driver. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here. That I should watch myself and behave. Wow. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCM. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Hmm. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Uh... <laughs> I've got your back. <laughs> Give me the lieutenant a punch on the sh shoulder. Now that that's settled, we have a couple of questions. <sighs> sure. You do make a cute couple, you know that? The lorry man spits. We have a couple of questions. Whatever you say, officers. He waits impassively, cigarette smoldering between his fingers. I'm just gonna ask a few questions and then wrap up the stream there. What are you hauling? N not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but the dock workers are on strike, so it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. How long has this been going on then? The strike? They've been at it for a while, a month, two months, maybe. He gestures towards the lorries. But this. Yeah, it's just the last week or so. What kind of cargo are you supposed to pick up? Apples. Apples is exactly the kind of thing you say if you had something to hide. Apples? Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions. We're done for now. You can't win this, just let us work. I'm gonna make this observation, then save, and then we'll end it. It's called Bree, B R I H, Great Revishal Industrial Harbor. Okay, well that's where we're gonna save. I believe I can do that, like so. Um, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to continue this tomorrow, I believe. That's what I've scheduled. If not, then I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure I've scheduled it that way. Uh, tune in tomorrow. 
We're gonna keep exploring this place. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Uh, then we're going to go to the main menu so we have uh, more specific uh, music, I guess. Taking a nice auto save, even though I just saved. I suppose you can use the manual save just to redo decisions that you've screwed up, but that seems a little cheap. Okay, cool. Thank you. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. You too. And goodbye. Oh, that didn't change the scene. Why is everything not working today? Ah. Okay, bye.